Hey, what is up, SMT Nation? It is good to have you guys here for this edition of the SMT YouTube channel. We've got news for you today. It's coming out of the T-Mobile and Sprint side of things, as well as AT&T. Good and bad, it's all mixed in here. You guys know how telecom goes. That's the way it is. Uh, before I get going with the updates for today, uh, please do check out some of the links in the description box. The following community items can be found there. We have the SMT Patreon page link. We have the Twitter handle, at Sneed Tech, where we also do Periscope Lives. And then we have the Megadon.net invite code, the social media platform of the future. Never need another social media platform ever again. No algorithms, no ads, and no tracking. Megadon.net start to take your social media platforms security seriously all right so what we're going to do is we're going to first welcome our our newest members to the smt patreon page uh, we've added quite a bit of individuals there and we're glad to see that the community is growing so very very happy about that and we're excited to see that growth um we have uh i want to say Almost about, yeah, it's about 81 members now, but I want to welcome Uncle Breadman, JR, good to have you, Jake Sims, Ralph, uh, excellent to have you guys now a part of the community. Anyways, let's get to the news. All right, so let's start first with the AT&T news, a couple of items. AT&T has already kind of documented that they will be restructuring a lot of their employment situations, whether it's on retail, Store closings, Cricket, AT&T, Proper, uh, also with customer care and other things like that. So in telecom right now, there's a lot of volatility because of the economy and other things that are going on in mergers and so on. But uh, it appears that AT&T's executive vice president and CFO wanted to kind of curb some of that stuff. John Stevens spoke to shareholders this week and spoke to the future of 5G and the technology on their network, stating that nationwide 5G coverage can be expected to be uh, fully nationwide in reach this summer. Uh, DSS is uh, currently in field testing, field testing beds in North Texas region, as well as a couple of other markets. And uh, it's good to see that they are making progress there. He also gave a first net build status update. Uh, he says that the first net uh, network is now 80% complete. And that 1.3 million FirstNet subs are, uh, are now there on the network, covering about 12,000 agencies nationwide with AT&T. And then he gave an update on C-Band when asked about that spectrum and those auctions. He said AT&T will be involved and they're excited to get involved with, that, uh, with those auctions and very excited about what it could do for the network moving forward in 5G. Uh, let's go ahead and transition over to the Sprint side of things. Uh, and actually this has to do with SoftBank. So for those of you that are patrons, you already kind of had the news and, and you've had all the details, but, uh, SoftBank, the parent company and majority stakeholder of Sprint, now a component of the new T-Mobile is looking to sell, uh, about two thirds of its stake in the T-Mobile company. This was kind of expected. It looks like they kind of want out of the whole ordeal. They want out of, you know, telecom, uh, obviously when they, got on this whole merger that was the end game and it looks like that will be happening uh there are some indications that actually uh they will want to get rid of more of those shares uh and they want to get out of as, as much as possible some people are reporting up to 90 percent will be for sale and they really really want to get out of those um in that situation a transaction a transaction could be expected as early as next week i will keep you guys in the uh in the loop on that the value is going to be very high as there's a lot of potential in what could be going on with the new T-Mobile as the company is now a massive market shareholder. So uh, SoftBank clearly wanting out. Uh, the next thing we'll talk about here is going to be from T-Mobile. Uh, T-Mobile is in the process of completely restructuring employee headcounts, mowing down employees left and right. Uh, both from the Sprint and T-Mobile side, mostly on the Sprint side now to report. Teams of employees are being eliminated. Previous meetings and conference calls with CEO Mike Sievert and Executive VP of Consumers, John Fryer, uh, they indicated, quote, all employees have a seat at the table. And um, yeah, 
that's not the case. All of this mentioned uh, to store managers, district managers, and director levels. Uh, they were telling their employees, Sprint employees, you know, everybody has a place at the new T-Mobile. Clearly not the case as thousands of employees have been told by James Kirby, your services are no longer needed. Uh, a lot of them were already fired and let go uh, and are seeking new employment. Uh, as early as this week, uh, this has all been indicated. So uh, I'm not going to give my opinion. All T-Mobile shills do is basically thumbs down my video every time I try to be objective about T-Mobile and call them out. So take it as you want it. I'll just report on the disingenuous and untruthful nature of these actions. And I'm just going to continue to tell it like it is, as this is what's going on. Uh, I did several videos on this topic in the past, and uh, people called me a liar. People told me that people are not losing jobs. People told me that stores are not closing. And of course, all of that is currently ongoing and happening as we speak. So take it as you want it. Take it as you see it. You can drop me a line in the comment section below, the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions and your reflections on these events. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the AT&T update. Let me know what you think about the SoftBank and T-Mobile employment situation update as well. Uh, anyways, if you found this video informative, enjoyed this, whatever the case may be, please do like this video, share it to your favorite social media platforms. That helps the channel out tremendously. Thank you in advance for that. If this is your first time here and you are not a part of the SMT Nation, consider subscribing and then activating that bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. And uh, let's go ahead. If you are a real one, hashtag the new T-Mobile. Hashtag the new T-Mobile. Uh, that's it for this one. Here are some other videos for you to check out if you're not ready to leave the channel. Uh, we've got more news, you know, up and coming. Keep you guys in the loop. So keep it tuned and keep it locked. To the SMT YouTube channel. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I am the SMT and we will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.